So, I went to the pharmacy to go get Hayden's insulin filled today. And I want to tell you something. Hayden has type 1 diabetes. He goes through a month of this insulin. He, he goes through a box of this insulin. It's a Novolog. Every single month. Now, there are a lot of people with diabetes who go through multiple boxes of this insulin per month. Because we eat most of the time low carb, he requires less of this. In 2020, when Trump was president, our monthly payment for Hayden's insulin, and insulin is not a negotiable product. It's a product that Hayden will be dependent on for the rest of his life in order to stay alive. Uh, it's not rationable, like you can't ration it in order to make it go longer. You guys, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. Not so much for Hayden because we can absorb this cost. Last year under Trump, our insulin payment went to $60 a month for this box. This is the first time I got this insulin prescription filled since Biden was inaugurated into office. And if you voted him in, I'm a little mad today. I'm a little mad. Uh, because I went to the window of the pharmacy and they said, we set it aside because it, it's really expensive. Now I love our pharmacist, but I'm like, what do you want me to do about that? <laughs> Like, do you want me to say, well, we'll just pass on it for a month? We can't pass on it. We are stuck. We are stuck as a family who doesn't go to the doctor because we're, we see how the system operates. I just was at the dentist getting a crown replacement and the dentist and I were talking about how, what a screw job insurance is because we see it as providers, as people who work with insurance companies, as business owners in the healthcare profession. We see what a screw job it is. Do you know how much I, you know how much I paid for this one box of insulin? I paid $328 for this one box of insulin that lasts him a month. I paid $328. And that was with the coupon from the company. Do you know how much I would have paid without the coupon? $500. I would have paid $500 for this one box of life-saving insulin for my son, which by the way, cost pennies for the manufacturers to make. And I see you guys saying you're sorry, but sorry is not enough, you guys. And if you think that this is just the story of my family and what Biden has in store, you are so blind. You are so blind. He is so corrupt. He is costing tens of thousands of people their livelihoods. <sighs> this is not my president. He is an evil man. He's an evil, evil man. I don't want you to hold my hand and cry with me. I want you to get pissed off. I don't want you to cry. I want you to get pissed off. I want you to speak out.
I want you to rebel. I want you to say this is not okay in our country. There's so much apathy. And so many people are brainwashed. Turn off your television sets. Turn off your television sets. They are lying to you. They are deceiving you. They are fear-mongering you into compliance. And it is my family and the families like my family that are going to be the first ones in line. And I want you to take a good look at who Biden is putting into his cabinet, into positions of power. They are among the most criminal, corrupt, awful people who sell out our nation. He put people in charge of our medical, our medical world who said the guy that he put at the top of our medical is on record saying if you are 75 years old, you are good to go to pasture and die because you've proven your worth. They define the worthiness of humans. Do you understand that? They define the worthiness of humans and who is viable for life. And this is what they do. They cut off things that people need for life. And I'm telling you, if you have a child with special needs in the, the era of Biden, they are worthless. My son and my mom with diabetes are worthless to Biden. They are worthless. Their lives are meaningless. So once again, I'm going to say enough being sad. I am sad, but more than that, I am so angry. I'm so angry. And I'm angry at those of you, not you, those of us who continue to be brainwashed and are not awake and do not see what is happening and do not understand that our country is a country that was founded for the people by the people. Not for the tyrant with a pen that writes executive orders in his hand. We the people need to start being the people. We need to start saying no. There are, did you see South Dakota and North Dakota are starting to say, we are not going to be ruled under the executive order. Every state needs to do that. Iowa. You need to do that. Every state. And you know what's going to make that happen? When we the people say, we will not be governed by a tyrant. We will not. We will not. We need to wake up. I am angry at my local medical community. I am angry at Sanford Health System. If you saw the way that our family and multiple other families were treated, you would be so angry. Angry is not a bad emotion. When it is righteous anger and when people's lives are being shot to poo, we have a reason to be angry. But that angry is meant to be put to put us into action. Not apathy, not to roll over and die. And so for every single one of you who are Christians, every single one of you who are my neighbors, who see the corruption and say, oh, well, wait until two years from now. Oh, well, wait until four years from now until we have another election. Wake up. This election was stolen. There is evidence right before your eyes that it was stolen from we the people. And this dictator put himself into office and have you even heard him speak? He's a bumbling fool whose mind is gone. Which tells us that someone else is in charge. There are those of you who are family members on here, and I know you've disagreed with me about politics, but do you think that Hayden's insulin should cost $500 a month? Do you think anybody should have to pay $500 a month for one box? I am so mad.
I am so mad. Get mad. Get mad and then move into action. All right, enough. I know I'm yelling, but when you go to the pharmacist and they put the medicine aside because they know that it costs so much, come on. <sighs> These days are evil and it's going to be the people. It's going to be the people with the Holy Spirit in them that says, this is not, this is not how we roll. Anybody who wants to meet with me for coffee and to tell me how I'm a conspiracy theor theorist, you look at this box of insulin and you tell me that I'm a conspiracy theorist. You look at this box of insulin. Enough said.